Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at some incredible infantry plays and some awesome one-man army clips. I did a video like this a few weeks ago. You guys seem to enjoy it. I'm taking all of the high KPM clips, all of these amazing back rages like this one from MG Destro and putting them all in one video. The next clip by Abo Hagos is one of the best sniping clips I've seen in Battlefield 5 as he plays on Devastation of Rotterdam and just domes enemy after enemy, picking up a nice surprise at the end. Moving on, we've got two clips sent in from the rush shot, the first on Rotterdam as he makes use of this elevated position against these camping enemy players. Whilst this clip plays, I'm gonna let you guys know that Instant Gaming have set me up with another giveaway. You can check it out down in the description below. You can enter this giveaway very easily. It gives you the chance to win any game you want off their website. Pretty much any game that you can buy is on there. So that's pretty awesome. Check out the links down below for more information. We've moved on to the second clip with the rush shot and he's dominating these enemy players on Twisted Steel great use of the revolver. Moving on we've got Evil Eye and he's using the Tommy gun and there won't be a whole load of Tommy gun clips at the start of this video because I know the weapon is a bit overused but as you can tell this one has to be included. How many enemy players did he get with that spray? Seven or so with one squeeze of the trigger. Pretty exciting stuff and I do hope Dice will bring back grind in the future for more moments like that. Now for arguably my favourite clip in the episode, Eros is going to be playing on Devastation of Rotterdam and this is a big objective play. He gets himself a lot of kills and a whole lot of points in one streak. Playing in the Assault class he gets the dynamite to work, uses the Piat, just everything that he can for this aggressive push and as you can see straight away blasted around the corner, every single enemy in sight is gone and again he's using the iron sights on this Rivy Rolls and that's pretty impressive stuff because sometimes you just can't see things in Battlefield 5. This is of course before for the lighting update that DICE will bring at some point in the future. But when that lighting update does come, I think it will make clips like this more possible. Nevertheless, 4,000 points in that streak. An amazing clip. The second one he sent in is going to be on Panzerstorm. And I've included it because I do enjoy a tanking clip. And you don't see many of them on Battlefield. Five, starting out with a very impressive shot on a plane as he comes out of base sped the clip up a bit i had to include that at the start it's a longer tank streak but that shot was awesome and then this push towards bravo is super aggressive and really satisfying to watch Full contacts next up, gets himself onto the bridge on Twisted Steel, sets up with the MG42 and sprays the enemy team back to the spawn strip. Next up we've got Ascent Savon, he's on top of the bridge on Twisted Steel, throwing a bit of dynamite, setting himself up for the perfect flank.
QTR 85 once again. This is going to be Twisted Steel. This is a very, very nice push with the STG. Running with the three times, you can see the enemy players very, very easily. Keeping himself at a bit of range so he's at the advantage if they start shooting back. Two guys reviving out in the open get taken down. The grenade's doing work, pushes through, and sprays down a whole load more. 17 kills in this little streak. Everyday Italians next up, and this is something I've not seen before. It's one of the worst enemy performances in a Kubel wagon I've ever seen. Check out how many infantry vehicles push him, and all of them die. Moving on, we've got Frosty playing on Fiel 652 in a really snowy environment. Looks like a blizzard's going on at this one, so visibility will be very difficult. That doesn't stop him, though, as he pushes towards the enemy team, taking them out with his boomstick. A very aggressive play. He also sent in another satisfying shotgun clip, this time on Rotterdam. I just love the shotgun when you get up close and personal. It is so devastating to enemy players, and you'll see that throughout this clip. Good old Huya TV is playing with the MP40 on Narvik. This is an aggressive push on Grand Operations. He has to capture the objectives, he has to remove the enemy presence of Alpha, and he does exactly that with this 14 kill streak. One of the most accurate players in Battlefield 5 right now is Mikasol Gaming. Check this out for an incredibly accurate streak with the RSC. Stofflex is going to be next, playing on Twisted Steel, makes his way up on the bridge in this incredibly popular flanking position. I'd say 20 to 30% of flanking clips are all from grind in this section of the map. The ZK 
383, just spraying through the enemies like a hot knife through butter. Easy stuff for Stofflex as he gets himself a whole load of kills. Moving on, we've got Rado, Rotterdam, and again with a shotgun. This is a satisfying push with that M1897. Using the grenade just to give himself a second to get a reload in before he makes another assault on Bravo and wipes them all out. Moving on, we've got Metal Slug with a Suomi. This hipfire monster will completely destroy anybody within a few meters of you, but you also have the option to spray down enemies at that medium range. Not quite as effective as the Tommy gun at medium range, but better in CQB, in my opinion, especially with the 50 round magazine specialization. A fantastic clip. Sticking with the Suomi on the same map, we've got Tyrium. Very satisfying Suomi infantry killstreak, this one. Accurate stuff from start to finish.
Now, I know I mentioned before that the Tommy Gun clips are very, very popular in terms of the people sending them in. I get loads of them every week, but I didn't want to saturate this video or the top plays with loads of Tommy Gun clips at the start, so I've saved them all to the end. We've got about four or five Tommy Gun clips, the first few being from Victor Scar. I enjoy watching them. I love the Tommy Gun. I think it's really awesome watching these Rambo moments, but I can see why a few people do get a bit tired of it. So if you're not into the Tommy Gun clips, that's all that's left. So thank you guys for watching. But for those who do enjoy these Tommy Gun spray downs, here are a couple more from Victor Scar. Next up is Burning Knuckles on Narvik and a very slow to react enemy team. No, fuck, dude, that was a good one. Suckle V's next up, Rotterdam. Once again, enemy players that don't really react to footsteps or anything around them. He manages to get himself a load of kills up on the bridge here on Rotterdam. Twisted Steel under the bridge and Robson's going to be getting this very satisfying streak on the enemy players. Look at the minimap, you know what's about to happen. He wants to drop the hatch at the perfect time, gets through and then sets to work melting these enemy players. Very carefully checking his back at the start as well. That was a smart move and now the enemy team are going to be punished for it. Iron Wolf's next up. Of course, it's the 50 round Tommy gun. This is going to be on Rotterdam in the trains. We need a smoke barrel as soon as possible. A slightly longer clip with two big point feeds in here. We've got Paulina and she's going to be on this section of Twisted Steel. The Tommy Gun 50 round with some interesting camouflage on it is going to be a weapon of choice. And check out these two big 1,000 points plus streaks as she pushes towards Bravo. I've never seen an icon like that, as you notice at the top of the screen. It is just her, maybe one other friendly player versus the entire enemy team. But she does well and takes them all down.
finishing off the episode today, it's for Schlepp, and he's on VL652. Not grind, not a position where lots of enemies will all be lining up for you, or at least you'd think that the enemy team aren't doing a great job, as they do have a strong position, but this flank is just going to pay absolute dividends to Verschlepp as he pushes through the enemy team, melts them all with this Tommy gun, and consistently checks his back so he doesn't get flanked himself, which works wonders for him so he can keep on this amazing push. Thanks for watching the Battlefield 5 top plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Remember, you can see the giveaway in the description and also access to the players' channels who are in this episode if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Guys, du! Erste Hilfe! Erste Hilfe! Da bist du ja wieder!